Okay, so I just got home from work and lo and behold, when I walked through the door, I have another Dolls Kill package. And it's right here. Um, it's such a great angle of me. This is like the last, um, I was getting a little worried because this hadn't come in yet, but it is here and I'm just gonna start opening it. It is a pair of gym shoes. I have never really got, this is like the most, normal pair of shoes that I have ever gotten from Dolls Kill. So I might return them. I feel like they're kind of expensive for like what they are. Like every time I buy shoes from there, they're over a hundred dollars, but like they're crazy, you know, like one of a kind. So, well not one of a kind, but they're special, you know? So these are kind of too normal for me, so I might return them. But I also got a purple uh, tennis skirt, so I'm pretty excited about that. Ah, okay, so here's the skirt. I really hope it fits my old tennis skirt. I got too fat over, so it can't fit in it. it like, doesn't zip up all the way anymore, so it kind of looks ridiculous. So I got that in a small instead of an extra small. I hope that does the job. Okay, okay. Okay, these are actually pretty cute. Whoa. Okay, so this is what they look like. Dude, they're pretty sick. This is the back. This is like... I am not sure if this is a dark green on camera. They definitely look like a dark green, a black, or a navy. I'm going to go with dark green. They're so, like, cushiony. And so there is a platform because I any sneakers I get have to have a platform. This is the front of the shoe. It has, like, almost like a suede preface right here. This is very cushiony. This is the, this is a size 6, by the way. This is, eh, I thought it would be soft, but it's not. This is another cushiony thing, and this is what the bottoms look like. So I will try those on in a sec for you guys. I think they're pretty cool. I don't know, I think I'm gonna keep them. They're pretty cool. So those are the shoes, and this is the tennis skirt that I got. Sorry, I have like no idea where to sit. Okay, so it's definitely a different color than what it was on the website, but it it feels, okay, so it's stretchy instead of having a zipper, which I already like, that way I can force it to zip up since there really isn't a zipper, unless I'm just like way too big for it, but okay, so let me shut up. This is what it looks like. And I love any skirt that, like, I only like skirts that I can wear high-waisted so that I can really cinch my waist and make myself look snatched. Anything down here is a no from me. So that's what it looks like. I, wonder, I don't think it would look good with these shoes. Actually, you know what? It would look... I mean, it wouldn't be, like, what I would think to pair it with first, but I think it would look cute. So, yeah, that's the skirt in a size 7. And it is called the French Kiss Lavender Wicked Scholar Pleated Mini Skirt. Long ass damn. Hey, so I'll try that on for you with the shoes and also with the other Dolls Kill shoes that I have gotten in the past week. Okay, so I figured I would just show you the other shoes that I got from there as well. So I had been searching for the perfect Mary Janes for a couple months now and I found like exactly what I was looking for. They are fucking tweed. <laughs> they are white, blue, and pink tweed and they have a huge, huge heel. Super chunky, super platform. And what was important to me is that they had what I refer to as the duck bill toe, which looks like this. Like, it's not round, it's not pointy, it's not square, it's like round square, so I call it duckbill. 
does anybody else call shoes like that duckbill but i see in like they have like um the prada shoe that's very similar to this that comes in pink with the bejeweled strap and like the exact shape of that is what i was looking for and as soon as i put them on um i got blood on the inside of them you, luckily you cannot see it from the outside but i had just gotten done shaving and i put them on like a like a dummy so also oh my god you guys look at the look at the latch or the lasp or whatever you call it it is a rhinestone heart like how fucking cute is that I had so many compliments on Christmas when I wore these. My dad was absolutely disgusted by them. So that's just how I know I love them. Okay, and then here is the other pair of shoes that I got from my boyfriend. He got me these and these. So this is the other pair. These Demonia platform black boots I have had my eye on for about two years now. And they're finally mine. So they are as my boyfriend would call them, I guess, stay over there, buddy. Honkers, honker tonkers, or whatever he calls them. And these I didn't even bother showing my dad because I think we all know why. The patriarchy, it didn't, makes no sense. Like, there's no reason to hate. I, I don't know, that's too deep for me right now. But, okay, so something that I really loved about these boots is this chain, so you can see this chain from the side and from the front it's got a little hoop right here where the chain runs so there's two chains and then there's a chain directly on the back and they are extremely extremely tight so if you have big calves or are a little chunkier i kind of don't recommend these boots for you because i could barely get my tiny little calf in here they're skin tight i originally tried putting them on with like a long like i had socks that went to here so i tried it on like that i had to take them off like that little like centimeter made all the difference in getting my legs and my feet in this boot but they're a size six um and the foot fits absolutely perfectly i don't know maybe size up or something um because i just barely fit in them and i'm definitely like true to size a six so yes and i actually got like this to go with these and i think it's gonna look really really fucking cute so stay tuned for that and then these are the only other like sneakers that i've ever gotten these are sugar thrills and these remind me of hang on, let me just tie them up for you guys so these shoes remind me of they're like white wolf or i'll put the name of the brand that i'm thinking of sorry on the screen because i can't think of it right now but they are platform sneakers and i fucking adore them they look super cute in like mini dresses um i think they'll look totally cute with this tennis skirt any tennis skirt these look super cute with they have very similar um like platform details as does that wolf brand white wolf or something like that this is just like styrofoam almost and then of course the velcro has little hearts and it's purple and this is like a metallic this is metallic and pink and purple and here's the purple i know some people like to see them together and i kind of already scuffed them up a little bit but there's some of my absolute fucking favorites so those are my main shoes um, I also had those pink glitter platform combat boots with the, they were the metamorphosis ones, the ones that had the big ass wings sticking out of the side, but they were detachable. So I always detached the wings. Um, but unfortunately the platform broke off after like two years of having the shoes. So Okay, so then I had to show you the purses that I got from there as well, because why not? So this little, I got two like baguette bags, I think they're called, which is super cute because baguette's my baby. So it is this checkerboard print pattern. <laughs> okay, so it's this 
pink and like cream pink um checkerboard pattern it's fuzzy really fuzzy and then it has these cute ass little charms on them i'll give you a close up hold up hold up wait is this on the right side or is it this side um okay it's got to be this side so this is what the charms look like i got one little heart with a bunch of rhinestones and then this cut out piece heart with bigger uh pink rhinestones and they're so fucking cute and then of course this little like chain link um strap i think it's really cute and then i got this larger baguette bag and it is fuzzy as well it's more like a fur though and that one's like a teddy bear material so this one's obviously a zebra i'm not like hugely crazy about the strap it's pretty cheap looking it's like really thin and of course they like folded it so it like bent the strap so i'm gonna like try to get that like crease out of it and then this little like chain link gold cheap chain link thing but i i still like it it is bigger so i can fit more stuff in it and oh i have to like just realized to open it up i need to like cut this and then this is black inside it's just plain and it's got a little zipper thing and it's super cute i think it's gonna go really cute with the black boots that i got and i think it'll look kind of cute with the paint with the blue shoes I don't know, but it would definitely go well with the black boots as well. Black goes with everything and their leather, so yeah. So I am in love with everything that I got, guys. Super in love. I do have this little backpack keychain thing that I've been putting on the purse that I have right now. So I think I'm going to either add it to my keys, like just my keys, or put it on the steeper one. It would match the black and the gold strap. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, so I cannot wait to start styling some outfits. I never go anywhere, guys. So I might have to just like wear it around the house or like, I mean, New Year's is coming up. I'm not really sure like what's available to do, but I am gonna try to like go out with my boyfriend and do something. So I'll plan an outfit for that. Okay, and then this is a shirt from there that my boyfriend bought for me it is so cute and sexy i have a i have a couple pictures of me wearing it so i'll insert that but it is just this little crop top this at first i thought it was crooked but this thing you can like slide it around so if you have lopsided titties you can you know adjust for that uh, i can compensate and it's long sleeves and it's just super super cute and i really think it'll go cute with the black boots i feel like i'm saying that about everything and then this is actually not from Dolls Kill, but I thought I would show it anyways, just because it really matches the like aesthetic of everything that I've gotten. And also because I still have the tag on it, even though I wore it, I don't know what's wrong with me. So this is just like a little crop top and it has these little detachable um, chain straps so you can wash it. But they are rhinestone straps with little heart details. Oh my God. I just noticed it totally matches the clasp on my shoe. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Okay, so now I have to <laughs> pair those together because they're just too, too perfect. And it's a baby pink, if you can't tell on camera. And then I'm just going to go right back into the vlogging. I'm going to be meaning to do my nails. And I think these are so, so cute. I almost went and just bought, like, the rest of them. But I feel like that might be, like, too much, too much repeating. These are so goddamn cute. That's what they look like. That does not do them justice at all. They look shorter on camera. They're pretty long. They're coffin shaped. And I just love the little gem details and the, like ombre. Are some matte? Oh, I just noticed that. Like some are matte and then some are like shiny. Talking about the pink ones. They're like purple to like, cream ombre. They're really, really fucking cute. They match my ears. So that's what I'm going to do next. And then before I do that, I just want to show you, I got one other gift. Actually, I'll show you that in the vlog, so I'll do that. 